The National Center for Strengthening Mathematics and Science Education, SMASI, is a department at the National Teachers Institute geared towards training primary and secondary school teachers in mathematics and science-related subjects. The department was established in 2007 in partnership with the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, in order to train Nigerian teachers on how to better teach science and mathematics-related subjects. Since the inception of this administration, under the leadership of Professor Garba Dahua Azari as the Director General and Chief Executive, and with the relentless support of the NTI management, the Smase Center has witnessed a revolutionary improvement in the way its activities are being carried out. Dr. Hafsad Lawal Kwantagora, the Director of Smase National Inset Center at the National Teachers Institute, is in charge of overseeing the activities of the in-service education and training center of the National Teachers Institute. Like the name implies, it started out as a project that was uh, initiated by the Federal Ministry of Education and the Federal Government with JICA, that is Japanese International Cooperation Agency, to see how the learning and teaching of mathematics and science could be improved because there was a study that was carried out then which showed that the teaching and learning of science and mathematics in Nigerian primary schools especially is done the chalk and talk way and you know uh, the uh, teacher centered, very passive, yes. And uh, Japan has been identified by the United Nations to be one of the countries who have gone far in the science and mathematics using a, a, a specific approach that they call the RCPDSI. So that was how. The idea was initiated that Japan can come in and work with Nigeria to train us to acquire the skills, to also train our teachers to be able to teach maths and science in a way that will make it more learner-centered and activity-based so that our children will no longer be passive in the class in learning science so that they will be able to participate, understand it better, and even learn it to a state that they will also become like the Japanese and the Chinese to use the transfer the knowledge into reality and everyday life to make things happen in their environment. As a very important pillar of the NTI, the SMASA Center, since its establishment, has been training a remarkable number of teachers from different parts of the country through its subsequent cohort training held at the headquarters of the National Teachers Institute situated in Kaduna. The training of SMASI Nigeria project was based on three cycles. These three cycles, we call them cycle one, cycle two, and cycle three. And the way it was fashioned out is that each state will send their trainers. We call them state trainers. We have the national trainers at the center who have been trained by the Japanese. And they are still being trained. You know, every year nominations come from Japan for different types of training, for new trainings to strengthen their capacity and to keep them abreast of uh, different or new things that are happening in the science and mathematics words in the classroom. So these national trainers are uh, in the institute, the National Teachers Institute at the SMASI Center. So we get nominees from state, science and mathematics teachers from the state, nominated by the SUBEB to come to NTI to be trained as state trainers. 
because aside from being a project of cycle one, two, and three, it is also a, a project that has was done in a way that it will have a multiply effect. That the first people to be trained, those are the national trainers, will now t tra uh, train the state trainers. The state trainers will go back, cascade the same training to those we call the core teachers. That is those teachers of uh, mathematics and science in the state. The core teachers will now also go back and take it to what we call the school base. So that if it works the way it is supposed to work, the multiply effect, you could see it happening. It will start from just the national trainers who will train 13 teachers from each, from each state. The 13 teachers will go back and train 200 teachers. And then the 200 will train 600, and the 600 will spread it to the school base. What do you do to motivate your participant? Activities should be interesting and engaging. The training is run for three cycles. One focuses on change of positive attitude towards teaching specifically mathematics and science. The second cycle addresses enhancing classroom practices for better teaching and learning. And the third cycle focuses on actualization of ASE PDSI in the classroom. It's different cycles that I mentioned, each one has a theme. The first one is attitudinal change. To change the attitude of a person, how a person is uh, doing things, is the first step to correcting a behavior that somebody is already conditioned to doing. So the first cycle is about changing attitude. So in doing the activities of the changing attitude, we do a lot of hands-on activity. We call them hands-on activity. In the syndicate rooms, we call them escape rooms. We do a lot of minds on activity, group work, individual reflective work that we do, we, we engage them in so that they now learn how to move away and reasons why they should move away from the way they are used to doing things. The Center for Strengthening Mathematics and Science Education gives both the learners an avenue to interact freely with the trainers and exchange views on how to best improve their teaching method. The cycle two is about uh, better assay planning and harmonizing the resources in your environment. And you can't do that by just talking. You have to do actual activities that will bring that out. So if it involves going to the lab, we take them to the lab. If it involves going to the computer lab, if it involves going to our escape rooms, we go, if it involves going outside to the garden, to the field, we do all that. You can just save your file, then launch Microsoft Excel and all that. And then finally, after it, you go from the internet. Oh, that's very important. Then the actualization is the third cycle. We call it actualization of RC PDSI in the classroom. I've been calling RC PDSI. So the RC is talking about activity, student-centered, experiment, and improvisation. That is the meaning of ASEI. And then PDSI means plan, do, see, and improve. So activity, student-centered. It means SMART is activity-based. It is student-centered. It is also based on experiment, and it is based on improvisation. So. When you do all this, you need to go out and actualize it in the classroom to see whether it works or not. So at that stage, they go to proper classrooms that they have never visited before because they come from different states. They are not from Kaduna State unless if we have participants from Kaduna State. So they, we take them to neighboring real classrooms public schools, not private, and they take actual lessons in such classrooms. And while the lessons is going on, other participants will be observing. 
before even the lesson they have to plan that is where the the PDSI comes in they have to plan the lesson you know and the lesson is not planned by one person alone they plan it as a team you know and then one of them will present will actually take the class while the others are watching to see the strength of that particular lesson to see where gaps exist and note them and then to later call the attention of the teacher about those gaps so that the teacher can now take note of them plan another lesson and take the lesson again with another class so that the person will see and others will also see whether there's an improvement that is why we say plan do see and improve so while you are while you are doing it others are watching you are also reflecting after everything observations and the feedback you are given you now you sometimes the teacher then himself or herself will be asked what are the strength of that lesson what are the areas that the teacher feels he had challenges so that is a process of reflection that is supposed to help you look at yourself to see where you can correct some of the things that you have done that could make the lesson better self reflection and evaluation is a very important component in realizing the ASA PDSI teaching experience. Dr. Zainab Muhammad Shaibu is a national trainer and also the head of training at the SMASE In-Service Education and Training Center of the National Teachers Institute. She coordinates the national trainers and participants in order to ensure compliance with the SMASE objectives. SMASE specifically conducts in-service uh, training for their teachers in mathematics and science using the ASA PDSI approach. And we also develop and produce MASE training manuals for the primary school teachers and also uh, secondary school teachers. We provide technical support for teachers that come here to receive the SMASE training. When they go back to their various states, uh, the national trainers here that train them go back to their state to give them a kind of technical support so as to see the implementation of the content they achieve here so that there will not be a kind of gap from what is happening at the national inset and also at the state inset. Even during the local training, National trainers also go there to give the state trainers and the core teachers support. And also during the school-based training, some of the national trainers also go to the school level to see if what we are advocating or implementing at the National Insight Center is practiced in schools. With subsequent review by the national trainers and evaluators, Learners will be able to set up a unique standard in the classroom which is in compliance with the ASA PDSI teaching method. Dr. Bilkisu Adedoyi is one of the national trainers responsible for engaging the participants in lab activities. Brother Lady, what we are also used to on the hands on activities, that is, what she is expected of a teacher to work on as an experiment, different kind of experiment you can use to enhance your learner and then bring out the scientific skills in them, whereby they can be dependent in future and have their future career. They can develop their future <coughs> career, engineering, medical line, whichever. These are the experiments, and in future they can be on their own without even looking for whether government job or which they can develop themselves and then bring the nation into a very excellent way. So it's not easy to forget such activities. And when some are the ones that you take, you discover, you use your prediction to know what you are trying to discover. The experience has been excellent because uh, there is a lot of uh, improvement compared to before in terms of the activity, the training content and even the, the welfare and then the attitude of the participants. So in general we can say we are having a satisfactory 
training compared to before. You can only promote marathon activities with outside activities. The two of them goes and the work. Because, yeah. uh, my experience so far here is a great experience. I'm very happy because um, almost all the sessions were detailed explained and I have learned a lot, which um, by the grace of God uh, we are going down to our states and then as scheduled. Everything here is wonderful. We are very happy. We are going home with actualization. How we actualize this as a PDSI down to our primary schools. And by the grace of God, we are going to do that more than expected. Because we have learned a lot here. Yes, we are very grateful. Ms. Bao Adamsani is also a national trainer responsible for training the learners on basic computer skills. He sheds more light on the activity the participants are engaged in. This training is aimed at introducing them to basic knowledge and skills of computer operations, particularly to enhance their teaching and learning uh, profession so that they will be able to apply the knowledge of computer and deliver their teaching and learning processes effectively. The objective of the session is to enable them to uh, perform some activities or prepare some PowerPoint presentation using what Microsoft PowerPoint application package. The second objective is for them to be able to use Microsoft Excel to perform some small uh, calculations. As teachers, they may likely use it in computing their students' results. Then also, for them to be able to use internet and source for teaching and learning materials that will help them to perform their teaching profession effectively. Then finally, to enable them to uh, be able to identify some of the computer components so that wherever they come across with such, they may be able to use them effectively. So with the way they performed so far and uh, the level they are, I'm satisfied with their performances. With adequate ICT education, the participants will be acquainted with easy and more than methods of teaching and learning and how to best apply a SAE PDSI teaching approach using the information communication technology. Whenever you finish, please assist your neighbor, assist your colleague so that we can the cohort training gives the participants and the national trainers a platform to interact with a view to acquainting participants on the new teaching method which is mainly based on activity student-centered experiment improvisation teaching method. The ASA PDSI which is geared towards changing the attitude of teachers for better delivery. For proper realization of the new teaching experience, the participants are being exposed to various kinds of activity which are more practical based. These activities will help the teachers in understanding and actualizing the ASA PDSI teaching approach when they go back to their schools. Here, the participants are experimenting the process involved in wind erosion. Using an improvised erosion situation, the group members observe how the erosion manifests, its effects and possible consequences. After making observations, discussions will be made among the participants after which their findings will be prepared and presented before the national trainers, evaluators and other group members. The evaluators, participants and national trainers will share their thoughts after each group presentation. With all things being equal, the participants will use the lesson they had earlier planned to peer teach. Our topic for today is wind erosion. This month is rest and... The peer teaching process is an exemplary classroom situation where a selected participant will act as a classroom teacher and the other members will act as students. This process gives the learners the platform to practice all what they have been taught during the training. Are you through? Any question? No question. 
after the participants had experimented the essay PDSI teaching method using the lesson plan they had earlier prepared and after a series of adjustments and corrections made by the national trainers and the evaluators, the participants are expected at the end of the training to cascade the same training at the local level. Before they leave here, they have to come up with an action plan of what they are going to be doing. For us, we have to check, the action. we work with them to see that they bring out the action plan in such a way that all the things that we taught them here, they were able to also capture it in their action plan. And we see areas, we, they, they present it to us on the last day, and we get, give them feedback about their plan. The, our evaluators are there that come to evaluate us, the national trainers evaluate, the participants evaluate everything. So they are also there to also give us their feedback about the action plan and everything else. Then they use that action plan to guide them for their seat uh, training when they go back. To ensure quality in all the activities of the SMASE National Insight Center, the center works hand in hand with the relevant stakeholders who evaluate the training and all those involved. Actually, I am satisfied with that one, and I think uh, this uh, may not be unconnected with the commitment of the NTI administration, uh, with the commitment of Dr. Hafsa, who is the coordinator or the director of the center, and also uh, Dr. Zainab, also, who is the training uh, uh, head of the SMASE facilitators. I think I'm highly impressed with the level of their you know, competency to carry out the program and also the level of participation of the uh, what uh, trainees, or in this case we can say participants. They came from different parts of Nigeria and they are you know, being put in the same class, in the same hotel. They are interacting, they are exchanging ideas. And even here, as we are discussing in the class, we find them in group. They have become friends. We have uh, actually achieved a lot of things. The management of the center and indeed NTI are doing a tremendous job sustaining this project. We have seen that the materials are adequate, the lecture halls are well arranged, the center is well equipped to take the training. So we are very happy with what we are seeing. The state trainers are already connecting so well with the national trainers and I'm sure that they are ready to go and implement what is being impacted on them in their various states. So much connection between our facilitators and the participants. Before now, science and mathematics are subjects that the phobia of science and mathematics makes students, when the teacher is coming, you see some of them jumping out of the window, you see some of them sleeping. But now with SMASE, when you enter into a SMASE lesson, you see the children will never want this lesson to end. They want more of it because they are active, they participate in the lesson. It's not the other lesson where the teacher will come and start dictating notes and throwing knowledge to the children. But here the teacher is acting as a facilitator, allowing the children to know, use what they know to learn more. Also, those who are opportune to benefit from the training had this to say. That the new orientation we have got will be important. And there will be change in the level, change in approach, which the output of our children now will be better than before. We are going to cascade what we learn here at the state level, after which it will be going to be taken down to the local government level, that is local level, after which we will make sure that this thing is taken right into the classroom for the benefits of our people. Our experience has been awesome, especially the new ideas we are gathering on a daily basis. And um, very interestingly, I'm meeting a new set of people. I've not been to the north before. This is my very first time. We achieved a lot from the program. The facilitators has uh, cascaded all what they're supposed to cascade for us, and then we're happy with the program. Everything has gone smoothly. Going to uh, conduct that. Uh, uh, this programs must be program to the children. Indeed, the getting the educational sector of the country back on track is a task that requires all hands to be on deck.
and in this regard, the National Teachers Institute through the National Center for the Strengthening of Mathematics and Science Education, SMASE, is fully equipped and ready to play its part in this regard. It is positioned to uplift the quality of teachers in the country.